Rebound by Shaq. It's back out to Sleepy Floyd, and it gets blocked by Jordan. All right, all right, all right. Today, we are going to fulfill what I would say is the greatest what if in NBA history. What if Michael Jordan was traded to Akeem's Rockets along with Clyde Drexler? We're at the 1984 draft class, and obviously, two of those guys I just said aren't even on teams yet, as the Rockets were bad enough to get the first overall pick in the draft for back-to-back -back years as they just got Ralph Sampson. But the Trailblazers had called up the Rockets and said, hey, let me give you Clyde Drexler, the 14th pick from last year, and the second pick in this year's draft for Ralph. If you need any validity, Hakeem literally said that they offered this in his book. And guess what? The Rockets said no, because Ralph was slated to be a really, really great player. Like I said, he was the number one overall pick in the year prior. And then he went on to have a very injury riddled career and phase out of the league pretty quickly. Whereas Clyde Drexler, the 14th pick became a hall of famer. And it's pretty obvious what they would have done with the second pick. They wouldn't have picked Sam Bowie since they already had Hakeem. If they were trading Ralph Sampson, they would have picked Michael Jordan, the guy who sells shoes and stuff. So with that being said, I'm going to make this a real realistic thing here. Boom, boom, bada bing. Clyde Drexler and the second overall pick for Ralph Sampson. It's a done deal. What's insane is I had to turn off financial trade rules for that because they were $800,000 over the cap. Yes, $800,000. And now the Rockets own the top two picks in the draft. We're going to go and with the first pick in the NBA draft. The Rockets will select Akeem Olajuwon. And with the second pick in the NBA draft, the Houston Rockets will select Michael Jordan. After that, I'm just going to go and draft everybody that everybody drafted. Well, actually, no, wait, I, I have, to, I literally have to let the CPUs handle this because Michael Jordan was supposed to go to the Bulls. Nah, I, I can't let them draft. Draft Barkley because Barkley fell to number five. It would either be Sam Perkins or Sam Bowie. So the Bulls are going to draft Sam Bowie. Jesus, I had to go so far into this draft just for this pick. Don Stockton, number 16. After that, y'all got it. Hey, now there is no injuries. Sam Bowie's projection now is all star. So maybe he can be all star. For this simulation, we'll take a close look at the Blazers, the Rockets, obviously, and the Bulls. And we'll, uh, Ralph Sampson. I mean, you, you can't get injured. So it should be interesting. Why is Bruno Caboclo still on the screen? The Rockets are starting some dude named Yogi Tolliver, undrafted six year pro six foot tall magic johnson wins the most valuable player award akeem olajuwon rookie of the year akeem won dpoi as well in his rookie season brad nelson coach of the year i don't even know who that is i'm gonna assume that's the lakers coach but we'll see pistons akeem all nba first team second team michael jordan already first season 25 points four rebounds five assists per game on 60 percent from the field remember also too in these in these earlier eras they genuinely do like cut down three-point attempts and all that stuff michael jordan makes the all defensive second team while Akeem made the first obviously when DPOI and all rookie first team there you have it both of them uh, obviously Clyde isn't a rookie and the Rockets they are only the seventh seed hey yo before we go any further I want to shout out to prize picks a sponsor of this video it's prize picks is the best place to make your daily fantasy sports entries and if you use the code click you can get up to 100% back on your first deposit up to $100 and prize picks will be having a free curry square on opening night of the NBA season where if Steph Curry literally scores one point you win let me go ahead and grab that real quick hopefully Steph gets more than one point it's so nice being back at uh things that I actually know but it is the first day of the season Wiggins it's a, you know he's got a new contract but hey let's say you get less than six and a half rebounds it's a lot Patrick Beverly four assists you know you're usually off ball that's also a lot I'm gonna say less I feel like more than 17 and a half points for James Harden's a pretty solid idea and screw it PJ Tucker just gotta hit a few threes maybe a floater to get more than five and a half points I've corrected with me $200 based off my $20 entry and so on and so forth thank you to prize picks remember to go to the link in the description and use the code click for up to 100% back of $100 in your deposit and maybe utilize that free curry square. Why not? Now to get back into the video, but this is a genuine difference just from adding these three because last season I didn't like rig them to get the number one overall. Like Ralph didn't make them good. They were still, I think they had the second pick and I had to trade it to the Blazers. Also look at the Blazers. One win above us. And obviously the Bulls aren't anywhere. But maybe they'll go in like the Patrick Ewing race or something instead. Put him and Sam Bowie. That's your new twin towers. The Rockets are playing Utah and Utah should not be good. Oh, I guess maybe. Yeah, actually they look great on paper I, I just said they should be in the draft to be getting carl malone right now unless it was that pick that they unless they traded for this pick that's what they should be in the race for right now hey look they're about to cook us i'm not gonna lie we're down two one oh yeah wait these get these series are the five i forgot about that hey we trying to see some gameplay already I, i'm down for it holy hell yo there's just no way there's just no way you could do that the love of god turn off the error screen effects that is crucified there's two minutes left look at this they're not even guarding the three-pointer it's really fun uh jordan's not in the wait is jordan wearing number yes that is him he's wearing number seven i gotta change that i'm not looking at him in number seven the whole thing uh oh my what a block by hakeem the dpoy blocks another great block leader in mark eden and eden's gonna want to pick and roll with griffith griffith the pull-up shot is off rebound by eden and oh my he bodied it i mean he didn't even body him it wasn't even there clyde's gonna pass it i mean not clyde hakeem's gonna pass it to mike number seven is this just the new jordan era i don't know jordan all the way he pulls up close shot is off and no rebound so if they lose this they do lose the series so we kind of need to win screens off ball both ways 
plays out to Drew. Drew between the legs. He gets stuck, and Akeem blocks another shot. One minute left. Tolliver brings it back up the other end. Tolliver all the way. The short man passes it back out to Jordan. Jordan pump fake. Jordan in the post. The awful screen by whoever the hell that is. Jordan's going to pump fake again. Back out to Tolliver. Tolliver over to Drexler. Drexler, you see Hakeem posting up. Down to Hakeem. Hakeem. Shot clock running down. Three seconds. Two seconds. Hakeem, the, the shot is off. Gets his own rebound. Layup is good. Houston, a three-point lead with 44 seconds to go. I think this is Ricky Green. Pass over to Bailey. Thorough Bailey. Green's the shot. Jordan down the other way. The crossover to the basket. He pump fakes it. He takes it. He, he gets blocked. Another miss. And the rebound by Eden. Jazz could kind of game him right here. Oh, up to Bailey. Bailey's going to take the close shot. And that is all. Forget about gaming him. Hakeem passes it over to Tolliver. He wants him to take the free throws instead, I guess. I, I actually genuinely wonder if this team could have a chance at winning year one. The rest of the team does kind of suck. Oh my, why are we giving it to this guy if he's shooting 25%? All right, you know, mind. Yeah, shut me up then. He hits both. The Jazz call their timeout. The pass into Griffith in the corner. Griffith, the pump fake. He takes the three. He misses. And that is, it's ga ball game. Ball game. As long as this dude makes a free throw, it's over. Jordan, 18, 6, 4. Drexler, 13, 5, and 5 with three steals. Akeem, obviously, we just saw two of those three blocks. And oh my God, Dantley, I think, just dropped 30, 45. And you know what? Jordan took it so, wait, who has number 45? Uh, wait, it's retired by the Rockets? Really retired 23 and 45. That's crazy. You know, it's got to be then. He wore 12 for that one game on accident. Well, you're going to wear it for a whole career on accident. I was going to say he, oh, what the? Oh, 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 they're talking about the Blazers got eliminated. I was like, oh, snap. How do we get eliminated? And I just clicked Simcast. That's tough. We could have played the Blazers first year, but they get bounced. And actually, we might still get bounced. Wait, nope. The Jazz are going to blow their little lead they have or their little lead that they had as we come back and take the series. And we're going to play Phoenix in the next round. Walter Davis, Alvin Adams. Hey, they are well on their way to doing it. Houston up through. Oh, it's over. Yep, it's over. The seven seeded Houston Rockets are in the conference finals against Magic Johnson. Now, the issue is they've got Yogi on Magic, but holy hell, you yeah, know, that team is that team is good. That's a good team, right? Okay, let me let me simcast. Last season, the Lakers swept the Celtics, at least in the simulation, because I had to simulate a year to get to the draft. And oh my God, they're they're looking like they want to sweep us. A 27 point game one win. We might need some developing before we could take on this team. The Celtics and Pistons are on the other side, which is a staple of that conference. And I see that we're already maybe a staple on the Western side. As we win game two, Houston, our excitement is over. We're going to lose game three. Get absolutely dogged in game four by whatever this is, 30 something points. Uh, we'll click simulate if we, pay. yeah, no, we're kind of, we're not coming back. It's over. Lost by it 40 again in game seven. Holy hell. The one game we won was nice, but then we just lost by 20 plus in almost every other game, if not double 20. Uh, I don't know if you could blame anybody for this. It's the Lakers. I guess we'll see if the Pistons can beat a Magic versus Isaiah. I'm pretty sure it was them with the meme of them at like at NBA TV crying, right? That was pretty funny. Magic Johnson 20 and 13 a game to win the finals. And yeah, they had 70 wins. That was their team. And they didn't pick up many more L's in the offseason. Nate Archibald retired. Straight back to the draft lottery. The Bulls gotta be okay. They're, they're number four. Nice. Well, the Knicks, you know, break the card or whatever the hell again. Uh, nope. The Bulls move up. The Knicks go to four. So the Bulls will be getting either Carl Malone or Mike or my bad or Patrick Ewing. Assuming that they pick one of those two. The first pick, the Bullets get Carl Malone and the Bulls get Chris Mullen. The Hawks get Terry Porter. Is Patrick gonna Patrick Ewing falls to the Knicks again? Even though they, he was first in real life, but I'll take it. Thank you very much. Love of God. And the sixth pick gets traded for Patrick. <laughs> Oh my God, you sick bastards. What was, was the point of this? You didn't have any leverage? You, oh my God, who are they gonna draft? Wayman Tisdale, Wayman. Why did the Knicks always do something stupid every simulation? Cause I remember the last long, long-term uh, old school one I did, they traded some like Iguodot, I forget, they traded something, like the first pick or something. I don't know, I, I don't got no user picks. I'm not, oh my God, Wayman. I gotta check what Wayman's potential is. There's no way that was, that was justified. Terry, all-star, I mean, I don't really, Patrick is a Hall of Famer. Oh my God. Um, any of our teams, Blazers. Oh, we well, our team needs pl players. Okay, Gerald Wilkins didn't really need a small forward, but I guess we'll take it. Oh man, they could have drafted Oakley or Manute Bowl. That's that's kind of bad, but it's all right. Manute Bowl and Hakeem would have been pretty funny. And the Blazers are better than us, so they got a Hot Rod Williams and Steve Harris. These are some real Stranger Things names. Ralph Sampson maybe capped out at 89, but hold on, let's get to the Rockets. Hakeem 90, Drexler 88, Jordan 87, and uh, Rodney McCray. 
Trey. Hey, he was a third pick in 83. Did they have the third? They had the third and the first pick in that draft too. What the hell? What, what, what hit did they have on the league? Oh, snap. I just downloaded the draft class. They got Len in here. They got Len Bias in the next draft class. Imagine the Bulls get a uh, Len and whoever they just draft. I forget who they drafted already. We traded Ralph Sampson. Now we got Shaquille Sampson at point guard. Uh, technically, I could put like any of these wings like Craig Elo can play point guard, Jordan Drexler, but uh, I won't change anything because I that's not what I do around here. If the other teams don't get to, then why would I do it for this team? They're already good enough. They got 390s almost. Look at them go. Moses Malone wins most valuable player in uh, whatever year this is. Carl Malone wins rookie of the year. John Stockton, six men. Oh yeah, because he's on the, we just played this team too and they were really good, but we won. Mr. Olajuwon, DPOY yet again. Billy Cunningham, coach of the year. Why do I feel like that's the Sixers? Hakeem and Jordan make the All-NBA second team. Mike average, Jesus, he averaged, wait, he averaged 25 last year? I don't, I feel like I don't remember him averaging 25. He averaged 25 and didn't win rookie of the year. I mean, yeah, I mean, they both played great, but oh yeah, well, he averaged 25 too, never mind. We are the third seed, went up by like four of them. 57 wins in the season, nothing too shabby. And the Blazers also 53 wins. The Bulls made the playoffs as well with just 30. Look at how much weaker the East is to the West. Holy, they're like an average of 10 wins lower, except for the number one seed, the Sixers. I was right about Billy Cunningham. Oh yeah, right. We made it to the second round because you only need to win three games. Second round, playing Goldman State, no clues on this team. Is it like run TMC? Is it any of them? No, no, it's, it's just Sleepy Floyd. We're tied 2-2 two, two, and they, oh, the Blazers got eliminated. Well, that's the Lakers though. Yeah, it's expected. All right, we're, we got a rematch. Second year, Jordan, Olajuwon, Drexler against the Lakers. Again, the, the Lakers. They're getting a little bit worse because Kareem's getting worse. But you know, smoked us by 40 every game last year. But this year is a different story. We win by 20 points. This be our, our largest margin of winning in either of the years. For sure. So we take a 1-0 series lead. Come on, just score. I want two minutes of gameplay. I want two minutes exact. Perfect. Perfect. What is it? 1985, 86, something like that. And we've got a classic right here. The Lakers versus the Rockets. Clyde, Hakeem, and Jordan are all on the floor. They got Goodwin. And look at this. Kareem's about to post up. Oh, never mind. Goodwin waves him off. I don't know where Magic Johnson is, to be completely honest with you. No clue. No clue in hell. I don't know what this guy is doing right now. Hell, not even James Worthy's on the floor. But uh, Goodwin's going to go all the way to the basket. Pass it out to, oh, Jerome Kersey for three. That's off. Rebound by Hakeem. He tips it over to his point guard, and that's good. They always get this little tip out animation, but it's usually not. Yo, it's crazy that when he's doing this right here, it looks like he's doing a sky hook. That's the wild part. This just looks like a sky hook. But yo, look at that. Kareem with, with such insane passing vision that he tips it to the point guard wide open in the paint, wide open enough to where he's able to hit a layup over some taller players. And take a five point lead, but uh, can the Rockets storm back? Drexler with the basketball off ball screens being set, and Elo's got it. Back out to Jordan. Jordan brings it to the three point line, a behind the back pass to Elo over to Drexler with a lot of room for three, but he doesn't want it. And Drexler uh, goes to the mid range, takes it, and that is garbage. But look at Hakeem on the rebound, swims around Kareem and hits it. Goodwin gets it. Oh my God, Kareem wide open on the cut. Jordan back up the other way. The spin move all the way, pump fakes it back out to Elo. Elo the screen. Craig with room. He's not going to take it. The screen off the ball from Michael Jordan and Clyde Drexler. A great floppy play to run for those two, but they're going to give it to Drexler, and his layup is good. 36 seconds left on the shot clock. He cooks Byron Scott. Number 51 brings it up the court, and he's going to get it to no to Hakeem. Hakeem steals it in the passing lane from Kareem. Elo back up the other way. The spin move to the basket. He's going to pump fake. Going to the post. Back to Jordan. Jordan. Oh my, what an awful shot, and the rebound by Kareem. He gets it over. Hakeem this time goes to the line. An awful shot by Michael Jordan, and Kareem is going to miss the first free throw as he gets MVP chance despite Magic. Magic Johnson is not. He's on his team, but not in the game, and oh my god, he missed both free throws with MVP chance. Jordan, the spin move to the basket. He's going for the two, and he's going to take the layup and green it. Lakers got 51 at the line. He greens the first one. This random good win, and he hits both. No timeouts left for the Rockets. Will they take a three and not be stupid 80s players? I don't know. Elo brings it up over to McCray. McCray over to Sampson for three, and that is off a late release, and it's over. One-to-one -one series. Don't even know if that guy could shoot, but he had it there, and he was wide open. He can shoot. 79-3, and he just bricked the hell out of it. Oh my god, we've got another one. And yeah, uh, Magic had to have been fouled out of the last game, right? I'm trying to find him now. I don't see him. Oh yeah, there he is. He's not point guard. There you go. Michael Jordan, though. Hey, how you doing? Spin move to the basket. Layup block. The rebound by John Conkac. Pass over the center. Pass it over to the guard. And the rebound is good. Or a rebound by Hakeem. Not good. It's not really like it's a shot or something. Drexler all the way. Steps back. Mid-range shot is green. 125 left in the game. And we've got a two-point lead in Houston. Byron Scott back up the other way. The screen by the big man. Byron Scott is going to throw it down to Magic Johnson in the post. Magic, he's a double teamed. And Magic is going to take it regardless. Pure aggressiveness from number 32. Jordan back up the other way. 110 left. Michael the Sioux. I thought he was going to set a screen, but no. Uh, Jordan.
Donovan spins to the basket all the way. Layup is good. He bullies the opposing defender, whoever the hell that was. Was it Kersey? I will never know. Oh, it was Wilkes. That's Jamal Wilkes. Wait, was it Wilkes? I don't know. It might have been somebody else. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, Byron Scott down to Magic again in the post. Magic Johnson double teamed again, and he does not care again. That is also, like, that's not a bad, that's a six foot six. Craig Elo on him. He's just not as strong. And Akeem, oh, Jesus Christ, what was that matchup? Kareem has five and five. Did he foul out or no? Yes, he did. Fouled out in 20 minutes with five and five. They just showed an insane matchup comparison. 30 and 10 from Hakeem to Kareem's five and five. Jordan, between the legs a couple times. 40 seconds left. Tied game. Jordan goes left. Back out to Drexler. Drexler. Back over to Elo. Elo's gonna probably pass it down to Hakeem in the post. There it is. Hakeem Olajuwon. He's gonna try and bully. He does not bully too successfully. He's gonna take the layup. It's all Rebound by the Lakers. Konchak with the good re with the good defense. Magic passes over to Byron Scott. And Magic's cutting back door. And they're gonna stop. Take some time. Take their time. Here it goes. The screen and probably the pass down to Magic Johnson in the post. Magic gets double teamed yet again. He's going to pass it over to Wilkes. Great help defense. It's off and the rebound and thrown up full court. Obviously, it's way off. He just killed at least two families with that basketball. Thank God the uh, the double team finally worked. It's funny because I was watching like games from back in his day and this is genuinely how they look sometimes. Like it's just funny seeing them not take threes. The, the post stuff makes complete sense, but like sometimes guys will just not take a three. Why does this show? Magic Johnson last season made all NBA first team. Thank you. The, the free throw is good by Elo, and we are up two points with 126 left in overtime. I don't even remember what game this is in the series. I just like watching this series. The Lakers are insane, so you know. Magic in the post, double teamed by Michael Jordan. The block by Akeem Olajuwon. What a sentence. And the rebound by Clyde Drexler. Drexler goes tween, tween, cross over to the basket, into the post. Drexler is going to pass it back out to Jordan. Jordan back to Drexler. Drexler down to Akeem. Akeem's got Byron Scott on him. He drop steps him to hell, and that's a layup. Scott, the pass down to Magic in the post. Magic Johnson, all the, oh my goodness, Magic, the layup is good. This dude, Sampson's got the basketball. He missed a crucial shot last game, but here he is again. And he's going to pass it to Clyde Drexler on the right side, pulls up, mid-range shot is green by Clyde Drexler. The Lakers take a timeout, but the game is probably over. Just knowing 2K. Concheck the pass into Johnson. Magic should probably be in the post and not running. Oh my God, let me never, oh my, whoa, that layup was bad. And another two blocks by Hakeem. Hakeem Olajuwon pins the block from the big man, pins the shot. And the free throws are good. That is it. Seven blocks from Akeem Olajuwon in this game. And like I said, Kareem fouled out in 20 minutes with five and five. I'm not gonna lie, that uh, contract was doing a great job. I'm assuming that's John contract. I, I just heard the last name. Let me, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not stupid. The bull, wait, the bulls. I didn't even look over here. Holy hell. Chris Mullen conference finals appearance in his rookie season, averaging 20 points. And he clearly led the team in scoring. It was him and uh, I, Sam Bowie and Reggie Theus. That's your big three over there in Chicago. We've got a 2-0 lead trying to make it to the finals to play the Celtics. Magic still wants to go over there and cook Larry one last time or one more time. Maybe one last until we take over the conference. Looks like we're about to win this game as long as they don't sell entirely. Uh, they're starting to sell. There we go. It's over. 3-2 lead. Why not? 123 left. I'm, I'm jumping in. The Lakers down 3-1 in the series. Can they extend this or come back from down 3-1? Be the LeBron before LeBron. James Worthy. They finally have their... Oh, wait. Is Magic is not in the game. I was about to say they finally have their full big three because I haven't seen Worthy yet. Oh, what a pump fake by Kareem to get the lead. Jordan, number 12. Back up the other way. Jordan all the way. Passes it back out. He had it, it looked like, and he's going to take that garbage shot instead and miss. Scott up the court to Wilkes. Wilkes and Cooper playing a game of catch. Now that it looks like they're going to try and get it back down to Kareem yet again. Kareem's going to pop back out, and he's going to go into the post against Akeem. Kareem, the drop step is nice, and it's green. Three-point lead for Abdul-Jabbar's Lakers. Uh, I still don't see Magic, but I see Michael Cooper. That's about it. Pass into Sampson. The beautiful lane by Sampson. The dude who missed the game winner and that one other one. Makes up for it. I kind of, I don't know, with a, with a layup. Scott now trying to get to Kareem yet again. Kareem's going to have to post up. He gets in a good position and he takes this. Oh, he fakes the skyhook and he takes the easy shot. Cooking the DPOI two time at that. Old man Kareem. The old man moves never fail. The pass into Jordan. Michael. 26 seconds left. Jordan breaks off the defender and does his cradle dunk. Michael Jordan had the defender leaning. We need a replay. Look at this man, Jamal Wilkes. Goodbye. Oh my God. The first crossover in NBA history. They're going to foul James Worthy. Worthy back at the free throw line. Jordan's college teammate. And the first one is good. The second one is off. Rebound by the Rockets. Jordan, number 12. Maybe to end or tie this. Oh, Jordan. The layup is off. Rebound by Kareem. Jordan misses the layup. The Rockets quite literally needed that. And Byron Scott. Wow. 65% is good. I feel like he's going to green the second one. If not, okay, he does. That is going to do it for at least this game. Jordan.
Gordon could have tied it up, sent it to OT or something of that nature. That guy's going to take a three. That's off. And that is it. We're going back to LA, I guess, or however the games used to work. Everyone's over there dapping up the opposing opponents like he didn't just miss a layup. We know that's not you in there. Game seven in Los Angeles. I thought, honestly thought it was 3-1, not 3-2. But it is 3-3 now. At least I, I think, now unless I'm deceiving myself again. And they cooked us. The Houston Rockets have been eliminated. We blew some sort of lead. Akeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler try. So did Jordan. He only shot 10 times, though. Oh, and he fouled out in 22 minutes. He'll be found out crazy in this era. Look at the fouls. 3-3-6, 3-3-4, three, 3-1-3. Three, 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 three. Oh, my God. How do you get three? How? Was this for both teams? Because there's just no way. Um, No Worthy, Johnson. Like, oh, my God. They'd be found out crazy in this era. I never realized that. And the finals. La oh, my God. Larry. Oh. I, I think it's safe to say we would have won a championship this year because they'd be getting cooked. And 2K Sim, for sure. Magic is definitely the guy to beat. Draft lottery. The Knicks are back. And uh, they, they could get Lem Bias. Uh, here, here goes the lottery. Pacers, Bullets, Spurs, Knicks, Cavaliers, Suns. The first pick, the Pacers select Dennis Rodman, number one overall. You know, I obviously downloaded a Ross, like a draft class for this one rather than um, using the 2K one. And I, I didn't like how Dennis Rodman was always kind of garbage in the 2K normal one. Like, I don't expect him to be dropping 20, but I expect him to at least be like 88 overall, 86, 84, something. So bonus goes number three to the Spurs. Number four is Brad da Daughtry, Daughtery, whatever. Cavaliers get Ron Harper and... And Johnny Dawkins, Kenny Walker, William Bedford. Where is, where is, oh, Drazen. I was waiting for, there you go. Len Bias and the Bucks. One pick before the Bulls who will get, oh, they're trading the pick. Retrie Rollins and a 1990 first round pick. And uh, the, the Hawks pick Scott Skiles with that one. I just saw Magic a free agent as they show over there on the right side. Uh, will, would Magic have the audacity to leave? And why is Clyde Drexler here? Why is Clyde, I will force you back. I don't care. Why are you there? Magic Johnson signed with the Clippers. Uh, what, what beef, what happened? happened there wait did so did the blazers resign oh wait no jordan and what's his name don't oh my bad hakeem and jordan don't even need to get resigned yet but can someone please can we please resign uh why did you get rid of your 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 cap space or whatever the hell jesus i'm ashamed to say the jumping jacks had to do to get a clyde back but holy hell and why did jordan just cap out at 88 why is he only in 88 my bad it's because 2k still doesn't know that the what their own stats mean the love of god guys i don't know what I, I i need to explain things to the 2k devs but the one that says peak start it stops them from progressing i don't know why you guys did that but it actually might as well be called the peak end i don't know if you, if you ever play if any of you play 2k you don't know you're not tapped in whatever uh first of all good better off secondly i don't know if you just saw but his potential said 88 and it was because he had a, his peak start age of 23 that makes no sense why would michael jordan stop uh, uh, progressing at 23 he entered the league at like 21 the love of god larry bear wins the most valuable player you heard me say that magic was the man to be pretty sure sabonis waited a long time uh, until he got actually came to the league but not in this he didn't elijah one deep POI yet again. All NBA first team, second team. Jordan's still here. He'll start progressing next year again. Don't worry. But uh, for now, still Michael, kind of. He got a little bit worse. And well, Clyde also took a bigger role this year. So that's good. Shooting 66% from the field. My God. They both shot better from the field than Akeem did. We are the first seed in the Western Conference. Over 10 games better than the Lakers, our former competitors. And we smoked the Warriors in round one. About to easily beat the Kings in round two. On to the conference finals against... Ralph Sampson. Oh my, I didn't even register. Uh, I don't feel like watching every game, but honestly, we're about to cook them, aren't we? Wait, hold on. 2-2. Two, two. We might gotta watch a little Ralph Akeem matchup. Oh, uh, never mind. Akeem said, shut the hell up and keep it pushing. Well, I mean, we might still have a game, you know. 3-2. to two. And here it is. Michael Jordan at the free throw line. What's funny, consider that a little bounce, the little, uh, oh my God, man, not not that. The little stop in his progression. Just consider that like uh, how, you know, you remember, oh my God. Remember when he uh, broke like something and missed the whole season? His foot or something? Yeah, just just that was that and hold on where, where is Akeem never mind we got Gaddison Jordan on the break Jordan all the way layup is off misses two free throws and misses a layup they got Michael Thompson and Ralph Sampson on the floor and Fat Lieber Ralph Sampson trying to post up honestly I'm not surprised if anybody ever fouls out at this point and what a block by the shorter defender Gaddison Matthews the lob up to Clyde Drexler and it does not work oh my Clyde tries to save it and it saved a Nat the Blazers back up the other way 112 left Nat all the way in the charge by Michael Jordan. Jordan will have one more chance to get a bucket. He's up the other way, and uh, some backdoor cuts happening, but no spacing, so it's not like they can work. Jordan, oh my, the, oh my 
God, and he misses the mid-range shot. Got that man leaning the defender, Nat. Nat now to the basket. Nat the layup, and that is off. Rebound by Michael Thompson, and he gets fouled. Thompson at the line. The first one is off. Nobody can shoot free throws. And I don't know where Hakeem Olajuwon is. Uh, Thompson, the second one, is good. A timeout by Houston. Portland can force a game seven. Oh, my. Clyde Drexler goes for the dunk and misses it. And guess who gets the rebound? Ralph Sampson. Can we, real quick, I was zoned out for a second. Look at Clyde Drexler go straight up for the dunk, the glide, and, well, and the ball gl also glided out of the rim. I was about to say glid out of the rim, but that sounds like it's wrong. Fat Lever's still missing free throws, though, so you never know what's what's to happen with this game. Can they hit a three or something? Jordan up the other way. Jordan to the basket. Michael. He's about to put up some garbage, isn't he? Yup, that's exactly what happened. This dude gets the rebound. That gets blocked. Oh, my God. An absolute dominant performance in the late game by Ralph Sampson. 21 points from him. Akeem Olajuwon fouled out in 22 minutes. We are on a game seven, trying to make the, the finals for the first time. I saw the Sixers defeated the Knicks, and the Sixers should still have Charles Barkley. And after all that perseverance, wait, hold on, wait, wait, the, forget perseverance. Look at that 14 to 2 run in the fourth quarter so far by the Blazers. Ralph Sampson might be getting his revenge. I'm not going to lie. This has been such a great series thus far, and I'm going to hop in. Two minutes left. Michael Thompson into Fat Lever. We've got uh, Akeem is out there. Jordan is out there. I don't see Drexler, but that could be okay it's all right oh the violation that is a out of bounds it should be an out of bounds hey there goes that guy michael jordan goes between the legs a couple times goes left to the basket jordan the layup is off rebound by the by car warren down the other way warren to the basket layup is off yet again another miss but fat lever a great rebounder himself is gonna take it back up and miss matthews the screen what an awful screen oh it's gonna go to carter carter to the basket he pulls up blocked by sampson and akeem dunks it down might as well have been an assist Akeem uh, trying to hear the crowd the home court in Houston Fat Lever dribbling the ball he was trying to get it to Sampson but instead he's going to take it all the way himself he goes into the post Fat back out to Nat Nat down to Carr Carr with the layup and that is green over the defender that's McCray that man has been here for a minute Michael Jordan a one point lead can he close out a game for the love of God he's been selling and this that's a good floater and that is good 34% contested but that's Michael Jordan sizes up his defender to sleep and hits the shot 42 seconds left Lever back the other way the pick and roll with Sampson. Sampson basically just slips. He doesn't even set the screen, really. And Lever's going to have to take it isolation style because uh, Sampson isn't posting up. Lever all the way back out to Warren. Lever now the pick and roll with Carr. Lever pulls up. Mid-range shot is off. Rebound by Hakeem Olajuwon. And Jordan is going to get fouled. Maybe not the best person to foul considering uh, how we saw last game go. But it looks like our team might have just clutched it out to make it to the finals for the first time ever. Matthews had hit some free throws last year, so uh, first one is good. And the second one is also good. Paul Pressey is going to force up a three that's off rebound by McCray. Jordan is fouled and that should do it. A six point win Akeem Olajuwon, Michael Jordan uh, Clyde Drexler and Wilkins why do they foul so much? I gotta I gotta lower like the fouling tendency or something cause holy hell it's getting bad out there. At this point I might just turn off foul outs we're in the NBA finals playing Julius Irving, Charles Barkley and Moses Malone and Mo Cheeks a team that won two more games than us this season the two best teams in either conference crazy as I lowered the fouling tendency and I just saw that Akeem still fouled out but there's a minute 55 left in this game we're down by two is anybody in the game is jordan in is that mike on the free on the baseline or whatever the hell it's uh, lining up yeah that's definitely him dr j bringing it up against mike mike idolized this man and now he has to lock him up in the finals and he's not doing so wait good defense but it, oh my it was still open jordan go left jordan all the way green light 51 percent contested over dr j we needed some from you especially with elijah one fouled out i don't know where drexler is either brats down to oh my god dr Jay burns Michael on the back door. Jordan and Irving match up in the finals. Michael gonna go left all the way. He dunks it down this time. The ultimate back and forth. Also, just look at how wide Charles Barkley's uh, created player is. It's pretty funny. Uh, Julius Irving misses, and there goes Barkley, the round mound of offensive rebound. Back out. Bratz the screen from Barkley over to Batty Batier. Yeah, I think it's bad old Battier. Oh my, the green layup. And the timeout by Houston to rethink things because it's not going well. Ellis to Matthews. Matthews back over to Elo. Elo to the bat. Oh, what a cut by McCray. The back door actually worked. It's actually worked a couple times in this game. Dr. J, the screen. Jo oh, Irving to the basket. Irving gets stopped by Jordan. Irving pulls a bad shot, and it's rebounded by Barkley. Barkley, the layup is good. 30 seconds left. Houston takes a timeout. Jordan, oh my god, putting in work to nothingness, and Barkley is fouled. 32 points from Charles Barkley, and he misses the first free throw. They had the screen on someone else, though, and Barkley, the second one, is good. That should do it, honestly. Oh, oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh my God. Matthews layup shot made Jordan assist. Jordan dunk made 36 points from him. We're in OT now. Somehow that happened. And holy hell, there hasn't been a bucket from
from we have one point in the overtime yeah we didn't earn this one we didn't deserve this one we didn't yeah no none of that what's crazy is i turned down the foul tendency and we still had a keem foul out and drexler foul out in 15 minutes what's crazy is ben ben simmons foul out the other day in preseason in 12 minutes i think the sixers dog us in another win it might be cooked wait we took a game by 11 points lost a game by five points and that's it the sixers win charles barkley 28 11 and 3 a game four point win by the sixers to beat us in the finals charles barkley wins the ring before everybody else in his draft class and, the, and kareem retires dr j also retires on that ring oh man the spurs draft reggie dang why they got reggie at 86 and eh, whatever uh david robinson 85 goes to the bullets and the bulls get scotty pippen he's gonna be alone over there with whoever the hell else they got i already forgot wait did the bulls also wait wait did i see that right horace grant went to the bulls too all right now jordan went up by four overalls and clyde for some reason just plateaued at 92 that's okay though that's around work you know clyde like 92 to 94 ish we got wes matthews is, is, was he already here he was already here that's wes matthews senior to you chris mullins in 88 so they got chris mullins scotty pippen reggie theus ed watley tree rollins scotty pippen sam bowie and horace grant we got a lot of depth over there akeem olajuwon wins most valuable player of 1988 with the numbers you see on the screen he's akeem and david robinson wins rookie of the year and six man of the year i don't know who he's behind but we'll see dpoi is look at the center's dominant i just saw one more a dpoi is akeem and patrick ewing most improved with the kings because they trade i still can't believe the knicks traded them 70 and 12 is that our team michael jordan made the all nba first team as well averaging 24 5 and 7 assists playing a point guard type of role with clyde drexler as well on this team who isn't on any all nba teams but i think that had to be us right oh ooh, uh, wait yeah 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 oh my god they're well over 20 games better than any other team in this conference and the second best team was the blazers the ralph sampson led blazers bulls eliminated in the first round the celtics and oh, look at that the blazers eliminated to the mavericks mark aguirre and manute bowl and charles oakley they got both of them oh i guess i guess indiana didn't want oakley like that we're in second round and at this point the lakers are an easy matchup which is crazy i think they are wait maybe i lied oh wait no i lied because well oh yeah right magic's not there anymore but they do have dominique wilkins oh kareem isn't there either and we're up three two tied three three and dominique wilkins defeat mike screwed i'm gonna click simulate we win i just had a good feeling about that one all right seattle gus williams jack sigma xavier mcdaniel able to win the first two. Oh yeah it, it's over with it's I, I think this is where the dynasty begins although we're playing the sixers yet again back-to-back -back years dr j did retire what's their record this year uh they're much 54 wins actually they only had 60 last year but we just leveled up i'm gonna just click simulate okay we lost the first one kind of tired of watching this matchup though oh yeah no we're up 3-1 oh oh my okay th now th this is these are the games that i like like late in the series defining games game six game six. i think my new favorite games are game six and seven like i used to like game fives back in the day fives are still good when it's two two and i i think we we're up in this series so i think we just won our first ring akeem clyde drexler and michael jordan are nba champions akeem olajuwon most valuable player mo finals mvp finals most valuable player i don't think i've ever said it like that with two over two steals and over two blocks a game 14 rebounds 28 points over the entire playoffs here's our jordan averaged 26 7 and 5 clyde was fantastic or actually clyde was kind of mid and clyde only averages like the teens it is what it is who cares he won the ring michael adams even averages more points bismack darling retired oh my jordan and akeem are both free agents i was looking at the expansion draft see we're projected protecting i guess we're not protecting pearl washington sorry i don't know drafted kevin edwards the the trailblazers got vernon maxwell and the bulls got will purdue but letting Vinny go undrafted or unpicked or un unsigned all right well uh i mean i think i'm gonna force our dogs back regardless they're both restricted so yeah this should be fine sixers trying to get mike and you know the, we haven't even offered mike we have offered akeem though akeem and mike are both coming back to the team thankfully for an astounding 10 million dollars I think I mentioned this earlier. I can't remember if I did, but yeah, they, they posted this stat that Jordan Poole will make more money than Michael Jordan in his career now. It was some like garbage stat about him being named Jordan. I don't know, but it is interesting to see how much less money they made back in these days. Like, you know, not not that it, it relative to the time it was crazy, but yeah, you get the Blazers lost Ralph Sampson. He left. Ralph is a member of the Miami Heat. Is that not an expansion team from this year? Yeah, I believe it is. Did they let him go? We'll never know because I don't think there's a way you could even check the, um, the expansion draft but it's either they let him go or they signed him or i could just check actually wait yeah okay yeah the heat signed ralph sampson that's their big time signing he's going down to south beach and they got daryl dawkins let's be honest with our first ring in the books nobody else concerns us as of right now it doesn't even matter who else you know rounds out our team we got kurt rambis 30 year old self with glasses on hakeem olajuwon most valuable
reliable player. Rony Cycli, rookie of the year. Ronnie, Rony, whatever. Keem, DPOI as well. Lenny Wilkins wins coach of the year. I don't know if he's our coach, if we hired him or anything of that nature, or if he's somewhere else. Oh, it's, well, it's not a... Oh, is it the Supersonics, huh? Who the hell is on Seattle? Moses Malone, Mark Price, Jack Sigma, Xavier McDaniel, Michael Adams. They lapped us. Look like we're about to start a dynasty. We might still, but we got to fight a little bit harder this year. The Blazers just lost first round to Miami. Wait, Miami's in the West? What? That's a, that's a fact. If that's real, like if that's accurate, that's a fact. I did not know that they put Miami in the Western Conference. Like I know that they now they try and force in. They got like New Orleans and Memphis in the West, even though they're kind of in the East, like on ge geographically. But Miami is crazy. Like Miami is East. Regardless, uh, we're going to the conference finals and we will play Seattle. First game is a win. So, oh, we're cooking them. I'm not gonna lie, we're cooking them. Never mind. We're, I just was trying to manifest something. Uh, we're we're up three two. We're tied three three. We're gonna make it back to the final second year in a row. If I see some more stupid foul outs, I'm turning off fouls. I don't care. Hakeem could get seven of them for all I care. Look at that. Hakeem, six fouls. The hell is this garbage? I turned down the tendency and everything. Hey, but guess what? It don't matter though. We fight through adversity. Did a Malone foul out two or something? Almost. We go to the finals. We're playing Atlanta. Who's on Atlanta? They got Drazen. They got Terry Porter. They got Kevin Willis. They got Sam Perkins. You guys are garbage. Lose. Just lose. Just straight up just lose. 3 0, 4 0. Done. Michael Jordan, finals MVP, averaging 35 points per game on Mitch Richmond. Bill Walton retired. He's a cheat code in 2K simulation, but I think we've seen it on the channel before. But obviously, he's also old as of right now, you know, even when you start in 83 and injured. Another expansion draft. You're going to let big Kevin Edwards head out. I, it's not me controlling this, by the way. It's just a random. Hey, the Spurs are letting Rick Smiths go, 22 years old. Why are they letting people go when they. Uh, oh, wait, is that maybe because they only have two players? I don't know. Maybe you got to let one go at least. Kareem Abdul Jabbar Jr. Oh, my. The Bulls got Sean Kemp. I guess it's not what didn't pan out for him just yet, like their whole team. Thankfully, they drafted him over this random Wayne Jameson. He might be real, honestly. What's crazy is Ma Magic Johnson signed with the Celtics. I was just about to say Magic. Wait, and Larry signed with the Hawks. But before we go further than that, which is crazy because I don't be seeing like crazy movements like that in any simulation now, like often, like not like this. But that aside, I was going to say Magic's still in the heat of his prime and we haven't seen much from him in a minute. I mean, uh, Scotty Pippen already an 86 overall. Jordan goes up to a 97. Hakeem Olajuwon wins another MVP and DPOI. Lee Oliver, I, I couldn't even tell you who this is. Len Bias, all NBA first team, averaging 33 and 9. It's very average, very accurate prime Len Bias numbers what it would have been probably he was a great rebounder scorer 71 and 11 I guess that record was us and can we beat the Lakers round one we do the Blazers lose upset yet again second round uh, Seattle we're tied 3-3 and we lose 4-3 in game seven by five points Clyde Drexler Michael Jordan Akeem can't do it Jordan fouled out but we still had the other two so I mean hey Mark Price Moses Malone Cavaliers win the championship led by Ron Harper our run is ended by Ron Harper and uh and wait Wait, is this the right team? Yeah. Uh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah. Wait, James Worthy was in the Clippers too? They both went to the Clippers together, him and Magic? That's insane. Look at World Be Free retiring on a finals, a championship. Jesus Christ. Now the Bulls want to go back and get Gary Payton. They got the Supersonics, the Bulls. Yo, they better they better do something soon. They got Gary Payton, Reggie Theus, Scotty Pippen, Chris Mullen. Can one of them play power forward? One of them got to play power forward, right? Or, or Reggie come off the bench. Either way. Sean Kemp. And uh, well, they had Sam Bowie. Uh, I guess he's gone. They had another center too. I guess he's gone too. Also, did they lose? What's his name? I think they let Horace Grant go in the uh, exp expansion draft because I don't I don't see any other way they could have lost him. Clyde Drexler is a free agent, unrestricted too. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm gonna force them to resign. Like, I mean, maybe maybe th this might be the last time I, I force them to resign him. If so, so is that Lem Bias? Is he? Let let's let's see what uh what, what our team does real quick. The Blazers, that is, or the Rockets. My bad. Oh, Clyde is still there. Hey, all of his offers went away. This happened with him last time too. I had to force him back to the team. I don't know what's going with his value because like all the people are being signed at you know good contracts james worthy do they just not rock with clyde even daughtry daughtry uh, i mean if i go to day 12 and he doesn't sign anywhere then that, that hey did the uh did the what's the name sign anybody i mean the rocket signed i think kenny skywalker i'll probably just bring him back to the team to be honest with you let's see what happens okay so clyde signed a deal with the sacramento kings a four-year 15 i'm gonna spin the wheel right now the wheel title is clyde and you see rockets and kings on here whichever one it lands on he will stay in and and he is go he is going to stay a Sacramento King. Only reason why I say that I even allow this is because that man has won the free agency twice. I'll be honest, the hard cap is off. We could re-sign him if we need to. That we had bird rights. So that's the case. I'm gonna let him go and be with Ewing. Seems like we're not valuing him how he should be. You know what I'm saying? He's only averaging like 15 points actually. You know what? Maybe I'm with him. Guess what? It don't look like the Rockets are struggling. They've only lost nine games. Michael Jordan, most viable player.
player. Ah, I see the vision now. Okay. They had to get rid of one guard to give the key. He's averaging the same stats as last year, actually. I don't know. There's no narrative to make here. Mahmoud, rookie of the year. Jesus Christ. 26 points per game in your rookie season at 77 overall. The Mavericks needed something. They need Luka. Danny Manning, Akeem Olajuwon, DPOI. Vin Bradley, probably our coach, coach of the year. Uh, did Clyde make an all-NBA team? Where Clyde at? He's not even here. That's tough. He didn't make an all-defensive team, averaging 23, 7, and 5 a game. Pretty, pretty good stats, yeah. And the Kings are the third seed. We're obviously the first seed, and we play the Mavericks first round. The Kings move to the second round. The Bulls lose in the first round as the seventh seed. But they have a lot of hope for the future. We're up 2-0, 3-0, and so are the Seattle Supersonics. Yep, the Kings get beat, Clyde and them. We're playing Mark Price, Moses Malone. And Moses is getting old, so I think I think we probably got this one in the bag. There you go. We're back in the finals against Charlotte. Charlotte's got John Stockton. Stockton left the Jazz. He's only an 86, though. He didn't like become like a 95. I mean, I don't know. You could argue whatever, but uh, playing some bonus. And this should be easy, regardless of our Clyde Drexler loss. It's looking like we got it in the bag. Michael Jordan, Akeem Olajuwon going crazy. Jordan, the finals MVP. His third already, and we're not even in 91 yet, which is the year that he won his first champion. Actually, I think it is 91, right? Yeah, it's 91. Yeah. This should have been the year he won his first, but instead he's got three, and Akeem obviously didn't even win until 93, 94-ish. So that's three rings in four years. Sorry, Clyde, but, you know, yeah, they cooked you. Robert Parrish, old self retires. The Blazers actually got worse this year, and the Bulls got better, so uh, nobody drafted anybody notable, really, though. Ralph Sampson, a free agent, getting no bag. Did the Bulls lose Sean Kemp already? How did they How did they manage to do that? The Bulls just let Sean Kemp go. He was only in, going into his third year, and he's now a piston. All right, we're entering the new era, the era of uh, Jordan and Olajuwon. Uh, two of the five people on this thing are on the same team. Hey, Ewing, how you doing? They don't got Clyde on there, though. Hey, I don't know if my internet just went out or what, but we're going to be using the default draft class from here on out. Shoot, they don't want to let me load anything else. Better than nothing. Michael Jordan, most valuable player. David Robinson steals the DPOI from Akeem. Len Bias, all NBA first team. David Robinson also. Patrick Ewing. Oh my, where did Akeem go? <laughs> did they get rid of Akeem? Well, his name is Hakeem now, so there's that. Changed his name for the new era. I, I didn't do it. They, they just automatically do it in case you've never seen one of these videos before. We're still the first seed with 68 wins. The Bulls lose in the first round. The Kings are still alive and yeah, yada, yada, bada, bing. We're playing Clyde Drexler in the conference finals and Patrick Ewing. Bill and beer also at the four win game one win game two win game three see ya Clyde Drexler out of here playing the Hornets again Arvidas Sabonis is a 92 but guess who's better just just take a wild guess four straight wins eight straight wins actually we didn't lose a game we did not lose one game so that is a whole what is that 15 straight 15 and 0 playoff run by Michael Jordan Hakeem Olajuwon and Larry Nance just threw him in there he only averaged nine points but why not oh yeah this is the Shaq draft lottery um one second real quick Suns, Warriors, Blazers, Nuggets, Magic, and the Warriors win it. Magic have two picks, but they're at five and six. It's probably not enough for Shaq. Shaq goes number one to Golden State, and Trailblazers get Alonzo Mourning at number two. Only they kept their other uh, number. Well, what was it? Well, yeah. Well, I guess they picked they picked Sam Bowie anyways, but they could have picked Jordan. All right, now Michael Jordan is a free agent. Now, uh, Supersonics, why are they off to the races? Hold on. Rockets are trying to get a Keem back, but I'm I'm about to force them back together anyways. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not I'm not letting they, these two break up. Hey, Clyde, you. You, you know what I'm saying? We was trying to get you out of here, but oh, Jordan hasn't even signed yet. Oh, yeah, no, you coming back. Hey, you, you won't come back one way or the other. Yeah, I don't know. I think like this old school stuff is like glitched to an extent. All right, there we go. We're all back together. Holy hell, will we, will we ever lose a game? 24 0, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, oh, oh my, I'm sorry. I was, I was, I forgot we we're in 30s. Uh, 35 and 0. We finally lost to the Mavericks, but it's okay. Jesus Christ. We had to lose eventually. We almost, we lost one game at the trade deadline. You remember that 72 and 10? bull season this is definitely the equivalent of that michael jordan 30 and 10 a game to win mvp screw you shaq sorry shaq but we don't care right now because well we went 76 and 6 led by lionel macy or Le i think that's the only way you could say it. akeem back on the all nba teams thankfully who the hell is winston garland back in the playoffs blazers losing the first round and i think we're gonna go just all the way again I, I would guess no losses you know oh we just lost the game to the lakers oh my god the chicago bulls are here horace Wait, we have Horace Grant? When the hell did we get Horace Grant? Uh, Rodney McCray. Wait, they have Rodney McCray? We traded Rodney for Horace? Hey, I don't think we actually traded them, but they that's kind of crazy. Uh, Rodney was here for a long time, and we just swapped them. They got Scotty Pippen and, and Chris Mullen and Gary Payton. But let's be honest, we'll probably just cook them like every other team we've played. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look and see if any, any of the games were close. Um, No. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, well, yeah, not bad. Not bad. That was 10. Two close games in a 
sweep by our Rockets. Jordan averaging 31 and 10 in the playoffs. And at the end of the day, we did it. It was easy. But shout out to Chicago, though. They got they got back. And Daryl Dawkins retires. Oh, so does Reggie Theus, another a, a pivotal Bulls player. Uh, I was my Wi-Fi came back, so I was able to download the draft class with with uh, Chris Webber in it. And who will draft Chris Webber? The Spurs. And Penny Hardaway goes to the Warriors. No, ma well, actually the Magic are right there, but they didn't draft either one of them. But they missed that on Shaq and Penny. Are Jordan and Akeem in their 30s already? Just thought about that. Yeah, they, they just hit 30 years old. Michael Jordan, another MVP. Chris Webber averaged 20 in his rookie year. Akeem Mah Mahmoud averaged 35. Akeem second team, Mike first team, obviously. And just, just at this point, just click simulate playoffs. Let's be honest. Bulls, uh, that's tough. That is very tough. Holy hell, the playoff simulates very fast this year. Who are we playing in the, the finals? Small forward Dennis Rodman and Larry Johnson. Dennis Rodman is the best player on this team. What does he do offensively? Least points on the team, 17 rebounds. Sends, sounds about Dennis Rodman. Uh, this this is honestly our easiest finals matchup yet. I could tell you that before. Oh my God, they won a game by 22 and nobody fouled out except for AJ Winder. Jesus, well, uh, they heard me and it doesn't matter. Michael Jordan, finals MVP again. We almost didn't win a game again. Or did I say win? I meant, you know what I meant. David Robinson steals the most valuable player and DPOI. Michael on the first team, Akeem on the second. We're still the first seed, 66 wins, but the Warriors are not far behind. Doubt we lose in the first round though. Oh, there go the Bulls. Second round, the Kings take a game from us. The Warriors were not, once again, not far behind. I don't know who the hell. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. They have Clyde Drexler and Shaq. Clyde Drexler went to go team up with the big dog. Let's see. First game is a win. Second game is a loss. This might actually be a good series. And it was envious of Michael and, uh, and, and Ralph, I mean, Michael and Akeem's pairing. So yeah, let me go get a nice star center back. Oh my, we're only, wait, what is, what is it looking like right now? Olajuwon, turn, wait, steal Hardaway. What hard, Penny Hardaway? Oh my God, the Warriors drafted both of, I just, it just hit me. And, and they were starting CB Florida, I think. I think that's why I didn't notice it. Wait, the Warriors have the ball with eight seconds left. Yes, they do. Eldon passed down and the steal by Jordan. Michael Jordan jumps into the lane to steal the basketball. And Jordan at the line, the first one is good. I haven't seen really them play in a long time, him or Akeem. And they're both in the game. Golden State's got one more timeout. Now they need a three. I mean, the best bet would probably be Sleepy Floyd. I don't know. Let's see what the ball goes to. The pass is into the corner. Penny Hardaway pump fakes a three and he takes it. It's off rebound by Shaq. It's back out to Sleepy Floyd and it gets blocked by Jordan. Michael Jordan blocks Sleepy Floyd's three point attempt. And that is it. Game over. 2 1 lead for Jordan and Olajuwon. Jordan and Olajuwon combined for 64 points in a 20 point, just about 20 point win. And that, that yeah, I was about to say that'll probably do it. Another 20 point win and Shaq, Danielle Marshall tried. We're playing the Sixers yet again, Barkley and Ron Harper, 91 overall self. But this one should also be yours. Should be something. Hold on. Wait, let me see. J just get to an elimination. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. An elimination. All right. 4 1. They took the game one. Hakeem wins finals MVP. He gets one for himself after Jordan took the last few. Larry Bird of the Knicks, I mean, of the Hawks retired. Sorry, I saw a Knicks player. Only Hall of Fame inductee is Mr. Bird. I did not realize the Warriors got both of them, too. That is crazy. And the Knicks get Jerry Stackhouse with the first pick over KG. Oh my God. You idiots. I let it slide only because hell Joe Smith went first in the real life draft, I think. Oh man, David Robinson signs the Lakers after all those years in Washington. Len Bias goes to the Blazers. Scottie Pippen stays with the Bulls. Magic Johnson goes back to the Celtics after going back to the Lakers. That man is confused. Dennis Rodman to the Bullets. Sean Kemp might finally find a home in, on the Rockets. He averaged 30 points last season. Just looking through all these players. Oh man, Rockets got a new logo. Look at, oh. Wait, did I say Sean Kemp gets a home with the Rockets without realizing that we're the Rockets? Or was that a different team and then he left that team and I don't know, am I tweaking? Also, Rodney McRae is back. <laughs> I, man, we got him back. And Gerald Wilkins, who we drafted a long time ago, is now old, 10 years pro from Chattanooga. Only person I know from Chattanooga is Isaiah Rashad. Seven time, at, we won, we won seven rings? Jesus Christ. Hey, the 1996 draft is coming up. You guys want to tank for one year? And Kobe around? Michael Jordan, another MVP. Joe Smith, rookie of the year. Maybe we should have drafted him. Manu Bull, DPOI. Wow, Manu Bull. DPOI. It ain't just blocks. He's 38% oh, from the field, though. Holy hell. What are you doing out there? You are at, you are the rim. Someone just had 69 wins, but it was a coach that wasn't our coach. Unless it's a, unless we got a new coach. I don't know. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we got a new coach. It was some dude named Al Alvin. Houston in our new logo. We're playing Portland in the second round. I don't even know who they got over there these days. Oh, yeah. Lem, Lem Bias and Alonzo Mourning. Yeah, that didn't register either when I said that one. And the Bulls just got swept and so did the Blazers. And guess what? We're going to the finals. Yep. Screw
Screw you, Phoenix. All you need is yourself a Sean Kemp and a Kimo. I really said he averaged 30 and then we signed him. That's crazy. And this team we're playing is garbage. We are smoke. This is now this is the worst one ever for sure. Worst ever opponent. Michael Jordan finals MVP, eight time champion. The article uh, that I was showing earlier about the dude talking about Hakeem, Hakeem and all that stuff, basically talking about the hypothetical of what if this big three happened, even though we lost like one hat, well, one third of the big three. Yeah, that guy in there, he's like, oh, they would have definitely won at least 10 rings. So maybe we got to win, win 10, you know? Also, who's going to win this lot? I mean, honestly, w winning this lottery doesn't even mean anything. You're going to get Kobe, Iverson. Oh, the Knicks got number two. Please don't mess this up. They're going to draft like a Antonio McDyce or something. It's good in 2K, but like just draft Kobe, dog. Oh, we got Kobe. Oh, wow. The, the Knicks. The Knicks they got Kobe. I, I know. I, I know. I'm straying away from the topic of conversation, but all the other teams, they were all in the playoffs. So none of them got anybody. Bulls, Blazers. But the Nets got Iverson. The Knicks got Kobe. So it's a nice little, you know, tri state matchup. Eat, get Ray Allen, uh, you know, 20 years early or something. About 14. Hey, Michael Jordan, you could be a free agent all you want. You guys are coming back. You're not leaving. This is my video. I'm having too much fun watching you guys dog every team every single year. It's day five of free agency, and neither of them has signed anywhere here. I already know what's going to happen. We're going to sign some garbage players, and they're going to sign somewhere else, and I go trade back for them. Let me, might as well, might as well get the, the trade ready. We signed Kenny Anderson and RJ Barrett's father, RJ Wingate. I don't feel bad, though, forcing these trades because usually they sign on like the last day of free agency, anyways. So it's like, well, you didn't really expect to get him, anyways. So Jordan was on the Sacramento Kings, so I went and traded Kenny Anderson over there just for some transparency. And uh, yeah, he went to go and try and team up with Ewing. Well, it's probably because uh, Hakeem didn't get signed anywhere, so he didn't really want to sign back. But I, I went ahead and got Hakeem back on the team, who's only averaging 19 points at this point because Sean Kemp's probably stealing all of his touches. Hakeem's probably tired of playing basketball, anyways. Not even to say that he doesn't like basketball. I don't know, man. You might as well just get, share the sugar. And we lost the first four games of the season and haven't lost since. What did we do? That being said, with Jordan being snatched from his team, Patrick Ewing wins most valuable player. Will he be the one to finally beat us? I feel like this is going to be the simulation that nobody beats us. But uh, Chris Weber wins most improved player. And there's our coach Alvin, coach of the year. Big Alvin. Winston Garland, all NBA first team. The Pacers just get nobody. Because this man's been averaging 28 points per game as an 85 overall for the past 10 years. And I don't know who Terry Mills is either, but he's doing the same. And he was also drafted seven years ago. He's 29. Hey, we're the first seed again playing San Antonio. Bulls eliminated real quick. Second round, Phoenix, Dunn, Sacramento. Here they are. Michael Williams, Hersey Hawkins. I, did they trade? What's his name? I don't think they had three 87s. Oh, no, they do. Yeah, no, they do. Kenny Anderson's on the bench. First game's a win. Second game's a win. Oh, my. Oh, my. That's tough. That is tough that you have to play us in order to win a championship. Jordan and Olajuwon. 3-1, 4-1. One. They did, you know, Sixers did catch himself a game. Aside from that, though, they had a one-point win. Aside from that, we won every other game pretty comfortably. Uh, the Three of them, yes, by like 20-plus. Ralph Sampson has retired after 14 years pro. Had himself a solid career. He was the reason that this was able to happen. So thank you for that. Had a nice couple years in Portland and then went to Miami and Golden State for one year and that's it. He still had himself a nice little career, but uh, was he a Hall of... No, the Hall of Fame isn't even here. Who's gonna win the Tim Duncan lottery? Your, your best bet. Uh, I, I, your best get. Why did the Knicks trade their pick to the Clippers? I don't know. I don't know. Why is that there? It doesn't matter though. The Nuggets got the pick anyways. It matters. It definitely matters. Look at who the Clippers took. Yeah, it, it matters a little. Larry Bird Jr. to the Celtics. It's funny he kind of looks like Larry Bird. What if his haircut was just crisp? Larry Bird with a barber. Patrick Ewing's a free agent. You want to come over here? Come on, though. You ain't got nothing to do over there anyways. We'll sign and trade Sean Kemp. This is the thing. Back in these days, players had pride. And look at this. Magic just... Oh, okay. Never mind. He was already on Boston. Back in these days, players had pride. And that's pride isn't a thing in the 2K engine. Nowadays, you know, everybody just want to sign with the same teams like the, the Celtics and the Lakers. What was that KD quote? Now everybody want to join super teams, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Hakeem and Mike are 34, by the way. And they've got nine championships. Nearly 10. I also want to see where what's his name is Clyde Drexler also uh Jordan's the best player in the league David Robinson and Akeem are tied for number two and Reggie Miller's right there but where is Clyde also Clyde is a little bit older than them just a little bit though and Kobe's already in 87 and he's 18 is that a glitch actually no yeah I guess he is 18 Michael Jeffrey Jordan 26 and 11 to win another MVP this is his sixth MVP and eighth ring obviously and oh my god there goes T-Mac with the Clippers and we could have had T-Mac Kobe and I guess Jerry Stackhouse or KG if we drafted correct we could have had T-Mac, Kobe, and KG. Holy hell. I guess we couldn't have because KG would have helped the team too much. Hakeem Olajuwon, DPOI. And Steven Wolf, 71 wins. I don't know if that's our coach. Still no clue. Uh, yes, it is. Another new coach. And the Lakers, goodbye. Bulls also eliminated. Second round, we only lost one game. Third round, I don't know. Oh, wait, the Warriors, this, this, this is just Shaq and them. Dan Issel Jr. Yeah, we're cooking them. Even with them having Shaq and Penny, we're cooking them. And the 76ers, Charles Barkley, still around. Still on the Sixers with my Mahmoud. Mahmoud of the two is crazy, though. We are down 2-0. 3-0? Oh, my God. 
what happened? I'm about to simcast the rest of these games. I just clicked simulate because I'm like, all right, we got to win one, right? Is Charles Barkley finally going to be the man to stop us? Because we have been cooking him often. And wow, it's going to happen. It is going. Charles Barkley is about to sweep Michael Jordan in the finals. He will have that to his resume. Give it to him. Say Mahmoud. I, I, oh my God. Mahmoud averaged 37. Mark Jackson, Charles Barkley, Christian Leitner, Mahmoud Abdul Rayouf. It's actually a pretty well built team. And you got Dikembe. Hey, shout out to Dikembe. Hey, they really cooked your 2K character, though. They ain't made you play for a five year spam. But um, I hope he does well, recovers well. Shout out to Nate Robinson. You, we all saw the stories, right? Dikembe had like a, a brain tumor or something, which is nuts. And Nate Robinson has like kidney failure. I hope they both recover well. You already know. Well, on that note, I hope we recover from this loss because holy hell, a 4 0 sweep after all those years of winning championships. I think we won like seven straight. I'm trying to like break down how this is even possible right now. Okay, well, the first game, Jordan fouled out, it looks like. Uh, he had to have, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Jordan fouled out in three games and how much time? 24 minutes, 21 and 30 minutes. Hakeem though, Hakeem did never foul out. Played a lot of minutes, was dropping points. Sean Kemp was playing pretty solid. Whoever Tyson Knight is, he was doing all right. But Mahmoud Abdul Rayouf just averaged like 40 for the series and that's what ended us. Magic Johnson officially retires after all those years of doing nothing after we took his spot on the throne. Jesus, uh, whoever the hell Chris Warwick is went number one over Vince Carter, Dirk, Paul Pierce. And actually, our guys are about to be like 35 years old, so I don't know if we'll ever get back to this point. Michael Jordan, most valuable player yet again. Kevin Garnett wins DPOY. Hey, Stephon Marbury. The Golden State Warriors have tied with us in the conference, and guess what? We're playing the Blazers first round. See ya, Blazers. Bulls get eliminated in the second round. Here we are, playing the team that tied with us, and they got Jerry Stackhouse. I don't know how the hell the Knicks lost them, but Jerry Stackhouse is a warrior. Also, in case you couldn't tell, obviously, Clyde Drexler isn't there anymore. They got Glenn Robinson, though. They got a 1-1, 2-1, 3-1, 4-1. We're back to the finals yet again, and we're not playing the Sixers. They lose to the Bucks, and the Bucks got a 67 overall starting point guard. Hello, am I seeing things? How did Abdul Rayouf not cook this man? What what is going on here? What is going on with the Bucks? The Bucks are the third seed, and I, I even I could see that with with you know what I'm saying whatever. Maybe they got something crazy, but I don't see nobody of no notability. Grant Hammonds, Sean Elliott. What what is this team? If they win a game, I'll I'll just trade everybody. Michael Jordan, Finals MVP. That is I think our 10th ring officially maybe it's not that's actually only number nine just just nine isaiah thomas has retired he ain't never win nothing he should have came and teamed up with jordan would have been pretty funny penny hardaway most viable player they're really trying to take over the conference they got cooked last year michael won dpoi this year just get all the awards why don't you i mean did that in real life to be fair for the second seed they are 73 and 9 and we won 59 games Shaq and penny trying to take over the conference we're playing the king's first round i think that's probably still ewing cooked him here we go we got the matchup i think i might got a simcast every game because this might be the end of the road sean kemp still he, he's definitely helped us a lot in these last few years he became the third member of our big three after clyde left we need to see if we can win ring number 10 fulfill the prophecy and we win game one and get smoked in game two i have a feeling we're gonna lose the series though i i just okay we lost that one by five we win this one we lose another one okay here we go elimination game boston's in the finals waiting for us i don't know who the hell could be on boston magic johnson had retired oh man i'm wait i'm waiting for us to get some points in and i'm gonna jump in screw it let's jump in right now 150 left this could be it for the dynasty like this could really be it i don't see jordan in the game he might have fouled out of this one we'll see if, if akeem could hold it down and he's guarding big z and Shaq is in there holy hell Shaq is in at the four or something oh my look at Shaq's matchup the block by the big man someone just stepped in and got a block i don't even know who that is longley a point guard a big body point guard back to akeem akeem over to murdoch murdoch down to kemp sean kemp a 20 plus point per game score for a long time wingate back to kemp sean now throws it right away to Jerry Stackhouse looking like Ray Allen with the number 34 on him and Stackhouse gonna get the screen they're gonna throw it a penny in the post and never mind the, the oh my picked off by Akeem but it's recovered by the Warriors and it'll probably that'll probably be it Murdoch all the way a garbage shot and that is gonna be it I don't know if this means dynasty over but it's ended the run for this season jo Jordan didn't even foul out he just wasn't in Rockets have been eliminated and the Warriors are playing I just want to see who's on the Celtics Marcus Camby Mike Bibby the Warriors get their first ring Dan Issel Jr is the finals MVP. Very odd. Kenny Smith retired. It's actually terrifying how garbage the 2000 NBA draft is. Look who it is. After all these years, Manute Bowl is here. Another DPOI. We've got three of them on this basketball team. 27 and 10 from Michael Jordan to win another MVP at 38 years old. Chris Mullins, sixth man of the year, still in Chicago for all these. Very rare to see a player not leave his team unless he did and went back. Uh, no, yeah. Chris Mullen, a 16 year bull vet. Rockets, we are back to the first seed, but we're once again tied with the Warriors. Insane competition. I mean, they do call the
call this the Shaq era. You are like something like that. I mean, the Jordan era, but it's advertised with the Shaq draft being the next draft. And well, here he is continually being our opponent in the playoffs. I was about to say, though, I have a feeling we're going to win this one. And we're tie tied 2-2, down 3-2, down 3-2. And once again, we need this win to tie it up. And Shaq is going to get wide open in the paint for the dunk. Hakeem is beating him in the matchup. But dang, Hakeem and Shaq only got seven rebounds combined. We just not missing shots. Wilkins, the screen off ball from Michael. It should be an easy pass to Michael. He's going to give it to Kemp, though. And Sean Kemp shoots a three. What the hell? Uh, Sean Kemp has a 56 three-pointer. Sean Kemp has never shot a three. That was Sean Kemp's first three of his career. That is that is top 10, top 20, at least top 50 most insane things we've seen on this channel. That man just shot his first three of his... I don't even... like These, these are normal sliders, Hall of Fame, whatever. And he just shot a three. First time of his career. And here we are. Is he like sabotaging? Oh my God, this dude's wide open. Corner shot is off. Rebound by that guy. Blocked by Jordan. Oh my, Penny Hart away for three and that is good penny hardaway with just enough room from the corner we're seeing so many more threes pulled jordan jordan the spin move to the basket he steps back close mid-range shot it is off and i think with that sean kemp and jordan have sold us of even thinking about the finals i like having a look at the shot clock to see the shot clock like it's down on the bottom right i don't know why it just feels like vintage and hardaway the spin puts it up it is off rebound by oh man sean kemp skies in there for the board we need a bucket here for there to be any chance jordan gets the basketball he gets the lane layup or dunk my bad oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. penny and shack pick and roll is is who is that guarding shack oh, there double him double him Lit penny for three penny hardaway another three is all rebound by wingate i think it's because they have three bigs out there right now and jordan guarded by one non-big jordan to the basket jordan stops in the paint jordan does a little step back into the post 38 seconds left michael goes left this spin move the pump fake he passes it back out to wingate nice layup it's green gets his center set up for the nice little float around the basket that's his ninth assist the pass up to penny they're probably gonna foul because i know this game too well Th 28 seconds there it is penny's gonna go to the line does he have it in him to hit some free throws the first one is off by penny even if he hits this one four four points is not that much to come back from jordan goes behind the back to the basket he gets him jumping pass it down to hakeem olajuwon beautiful move by mike to get a keem open down there Who will they foul or will they not foul okay there it is jerry stackhouse stackhouse both free throws are good that is tough no timeouts left looks like we might might be seeing the end of the era right here in front of our face wilkins to the basket wilkins gets a charge unless it was a blocking i think it was a charge oh yeah and michael still has hair but yeah it's over it's over we are getting sent home we had both star players out there plus sean kemp shooting threes and the celtics and warriors are playing the finals that's uh mike B oh it's this team again and the warriors win another championship dan Issel jr i can't even spot him we're actually playing the game i don't notice him doing anything manute bowl retired i got really scared that that was akeem i had a feeling we'd have it at least another Another year it should be a couple hall of famers patrick ewing carl malone clyde drexler chris mullen arvidas the bonus clyde drexler finishes with averages of 17.6 rebounds five assists 11 all-star appearances two championships so he only got two out of our nine seven rings came without a third of the big three and then maybe like two of them came with sean kemp he did make all defense 10 times so that's cool at least he made up for it on that end like you know not scoring that much i guess and yeah i mean that's enough to get him in the hall of fame so there you go also chris mullen a hall of famer with the bulls averaging 26 points per game the most out of this entire class more than malone and ewing malone obviously being one of the greatest scorers ever yeah chris malone is fifth all time in points which is actually right above malone and ewing akeem and mike both take a big downfall in their overalls this season man this bulls team never did anything though that's 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 tough holy hell the rockets are 52 and 2 even at their old age they're still uh, terry Mil oh my god terry mills is averaging 20 i'm about to say are you averaging 20 and he's averaging 20 michael jordan still wins another mvp even at his old age dirk wins most improved Jack Sigma wins coach of the year. Is he our coach now? Yep. Somehow we've just leaps and bounds better than Golden State this season. At least in the regular season. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they got pounced, bounced all the way the hell up out of here. And it's because Penny Hardaway left. I don't know how to explain that one, but uh, they're not my team to worry about. Uh, I don't even know who's on Memphis. Memphis. Kobe. Co hey, hey, hey. I, I got a SimCast now. They, they won a game too. They did win a game and they're winning this game as well. I don't care if it's game four. This video is already long enough. Hopefully, Mike, Mike, are you there? Michael Jordan. I don't see see michael jordan i see kobe bryant i don't see michael jordan did he foul out he fouled out of course he did the best matchup we could a hey, screw it, kobe cook us give the ball to him kobe bryant down oh down to brown pj brown I, I would assume that is nope gets ripped I and mean, we still got kemp and akeem in the game winder winder back the other way goes between the legs winder all the way beautiful layup to take the lead or actually take a three-point lead knight pulls up for three i don't know who that is but he missed it looked good for a second galloway not langston he's a lot taller and a lot older winder down to 
Tyron Kemp uh, down low against P.J. Brown. He's going to go with the post hook pump fake. He's going to go up again, and that one's off. Rebound by Sean Kemp, and it's good. The offensive rebound leads to the bucket. We ain't seen Kobe do none yet. He's going to get the ball right here, number eight for the Grizzlies. Wait, how is Kobe on the grid? Kobe fadeaway three. Oh, my God. That, that's why. We released him. That's why. That's why. Yeah, he literally got drafted by the Knicks. Well, uh, I guess it didn't work out. Honestly, I really don't care. As long as we're watching Kobe play, I, I really couldn't care less. All right, Winder trying to get it to Kemp. Kemp's going to get it at the three-point line. Just don't take another one. Kemp trying to go in the post to the spin. Kemp, oh my, he got, and he gets blocked. You've seen some crazy blocks. Knight down to Delk. Delk, the layup is off. Rebound by Kemp, and that should do it. They they literally did not score once. We're going to take a 3-1 lead. Um, I, I would love to see Kobe play, but I am not watching no game five up 3-1. If you win a game, oh, no, yeah, it's over. And we are now playing Manu Ginobili, Peja Stoyakovic, and Antonio McDice with 270 overalls in their lineup. So they kind of suck, but they're kind of good. Well, actually, we have the same type of deal going on, but we're the Rockets. I don't think they understand that. That's a sweet number ring number 10 for Michael Jordan and Akeem Olajuwon. And let me check real quick. Both Jordan and Akeem are not retiring. And also they reminded me on their thing that it's both of their contract years. And to hell with that, I am re-signing them. I can re-sign them by the year for all I care. They will not be leaving this team, bro. We've, we made it this far. Sean Kemp, if you want to leave, you can. I saw that three and I lost all of them. I'm going to just re-sign them for one year because I don't want to like re-sign them for five years and like, oh, well, let, let's never retire. And like I influenced them to play longer than they wanted to you know i don't want to mess them up like that robinson barkley and pippen all make the hall of fame robinson won an mvp and i i oh barkley yeah barkley did win those two rings and a finals mvp because mahmoud took one of them over us this is the 2002 draft the little amari stoudemire yao ming thing going on we got one more yield to 03 it would be poetic if jordan and, and uh and uh yeah, hakeem decided to retire right before lebron yao ming and amari go one and two Shaq is moving funny he's got a whole four year 60 million dollar deal offer from the warriors and just isn't taking it same with the wait the bulls that'd be pretty funny you know he did not accept that bulls deal that's all i could tell you and jordan kemp and elijah one are all old ah uh, yes the new era kevin garnett gets an mvp kevin garnett says dpoi vin bradley 69 wins i couldn't tell you if that was our our team it's not it's uh it's not even on the west it's the raptors oh yeah it's a team we just played in the finals dang they got Yao. wait how did they get Yao? did they already have Yao's already played a season wait no oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that was Yao's first season i am tweet uh you know what we we in the final year. It's all good. Or one of the final years. To actually confirm, is this the final year? Hey, Hakeem talking about I'm most likely going to be interested in re-signing with the team this coming summer. Guess what Jordan's saying? I'm retiring and I'm walking away with my head held high. Well, let's see if you could hold your head even higher with an 11th championship like you, Bill Russell. Or are you about to lose in the first round of Seattle? Okay, didn't do it. Second round, we're about to lose to Memphis. Kobe. Wait, are we going to come back and take it? I'll, I'll, I'll watch a game seven. Nope, they took it. Or my bad, we took it. Clippers. Don't even know who's on this team. Let me just check real quick. Tracy McGrady. Rodney Rogers and Kevin Garnett. T Mac and KG versus an old Mike and an old Hakeem. I would assume that they we're cooked. I'll simcast it though, just in case these old men want to make one last run. And they are, but they're kind of blown in the fourth. But they came back in, or they, they did it. They won. Game seven in Los Angeles. A very close contest here. I check if they fouled. No, wait. Kemp fouled out. Elijah wants to win. We're watching it. We got we got Jordan and Hakeem. This might be the last dance right here. This might be the last minute of Michael's career. And it might not be pretty. I see him in the game he's in there in the corner is he back on number seven i just realized that he's been back on number seven for a minute it's probably from one of them trades he had to do okay kg gets in the post the mvp uh, uh, hey hey look at that multi-time dpoi you don't just lose that dpoi ability and thankfully they got bryant reeves at center right now what a pass down to the little dog with the layup i don't know who that is but hey he got it he got mad tattoos too t mac going back at that guy and uh well he's trying to get it to uh kg and it's stolen by akeem he's showing his dpoi powers he's got like eight of those and they're gonna throw it down to Bryant Reeves and he gets fouled. Honestly, I have no clue how Bryant Reeves even got here, but it doesn't matter. Free throw is good. He's got it in him and both are good. A four point lead with 107 left. Clippers still got a shot and they subbed out T Mac after that turnover. That's pretty funny. They got Brown now with the ball and Brown's going to try and, yeah, he's going to get it to KG in the post. A much safer pass, you know, not rushing it. And KG's pump faking into the post. Back to Brown. Brown now running the pick and roll with Kevin and Brown to the basket. And what a pass out to Kevin Garnett. Mid range is off. That was a Rondo type of pass pass a steve nash type of pass but it did not matter and wilkins all the way to the basket the spin move back out to galloway for three it's off that would have been game winner type stuff and longley the other way guarded by jordan and oh my the pass over to the left side and that is off the rebound by reeves and that is gonna do it we are going back to the finals for one final time honestly i have a bad feeling that we're just gonna like lose and this was all worth nothing but it's all it was fun to watch him play one last time we are playing the raptors which is that team with yao ming peja manu i'm pretty sure they was it not
not yeah they, they were here last year we beat them but now they just somehow got the first pick raptors win game one we win game two we win game three game four they win one i'll sim cast it just in case we about to win a ring in a close game or something it is close currently still currently oh my god nobody is scoring Olajuwon turnover screw it i mean there's a minute left did anybody foul out michael you still in there right here right now we could win ring number 11 and a hey, out of respect to bill we just gonna tie him we're not gonna break his record we're just gonna tie him. yao ming's down there and yao ming is a cheat code to play in these simulations he will play 10 times better than in like a simulation he'll play better he'll play better in this my bad i forgot i don't i forgot what i was saying yao back out to ellis he runs the pick and roll with big yao and ellis pulls up it's off and yao tried to get the board but there goes wingate runs in for it three point lead and we need one more bucket to close it out jordan is not in wingate is running isos down to reeves reeves gets fouled again are we gonna get to the finals and win a championship off bryant reeves free throws uh no he missed jordan subs back in thankfully and reeves the second one is good 48 seconds left i don't know what that stat is they're showing at the bottom i have no clue what the hell that is Novi back up the other way 44 seconds left manu uh he's gonna go right stop back out to the three-point line Ginobili, it's off rebound by kemp and that should do it 35 seconds left they're gonna foul old dude and the houston rockets considering that they're in an era with about 20 more teams are officially probably considered uh i mean even before that or even before this finals but the most incredible dynasty in nba history as manu pump fakes a three and takes it over sean kemp that's off rebound by sean kemp beautiful stuff by sean there and that is it we don't need to see no celebration the rockets are your nba champions yet again michael jordan 38 points and eight assists in his final game as long as he doesn't he might he might pump fake the retirement i'm not gonna lie jordan 33 and 11 let's see is jordan actually gonna stick to his word he does michael 19 years pro 40 years old let's just head on over real quick the hall of fame inductees jordan averaged 26 points per game five rebounds eight assists two steals one block nine mvp 17 all-star appearances one dpoi 11 championships nine finals mvps 15 first team all nba three second team 12 defensive first team four defensive second team and rookie first team and akeem on the other end averaged 22 points 11 rebounds to three assists 56 from the field 30 from three uh, I, he probably didn't shoot many he actually did akeem shot 609 threes it's a pretty solid sample size he's just chucking a couple up every season 30 is not bad for a dude who doesn't really shoot threes like that he had only had one triple double though and akeem olajuwon wow they cut off his dpois that is annoying uh i would be able to see them if what went to his what's it called his hall of fame but whatever he had three mvps 12 championships why does his say 12 and jordan says 11 i i don't i i don't know i honestly i i really don't care 15 all-star appearances five first team all nba four second team one third team i'm not gonna go count up all of his dpois but you get the gist of it he won like what was it 11 you saw all of them you're here you watched the video hey jordan did not beat out elgin's record of uh 61 points this time around but he did get 60 it's pretty close he also got 55 in a game once 10 years apart at that jordan finishes number one all time in points with 40,235. Akeem had 33,800, and uh, Jordan surpasses Kareem by over 4K. In case you're wondering, Clyde Drexler is 41st with 23,000, but he was still higher than Scottie Pippen, so we'll give him that. Jesus, Reggie be chucking threes. Reggie already has 800 more threes than anybody. I mean, I can't say already. He's pretty old. He's still got hair, though. Jordan made the most free throws in NBA history by over 700. You call him a merchant if you want to. Akeem had the fifth most rebounds. Jordan had the third most assists. Akeem had the most blocks yet again. Again, Jordan had the most steals. Akeem had the second most minutes and Jordan had the third most minutes. They probably would have had 60K each if they didn't get fouled out every single game. Isaiah Thomas had the most turnovers, over 400 more than Jordan. I just feel like that's interesting considering how much Jordan, how much more Jordan held the ball probably. Not to say that Isaiah didn't, but you get it. Um, Yeah, that's that's really it. Oh yeah, Mike had 107 40 point games, which is less than Mark Aguirre and Wilt by over half. And he didn't really have any. He had five 50 point games, which is 14th, tied for 14th. Also had 44 triple doubles that's pretty impressive why does it say he's on the celtics behind him i just realized that or maybe it's like a glitch because larry's right there yeah it's definitely a glitch now this one says the lakers yep yeah it is and that's it he dropped the most most points in a game in regular season was 53 so he broke that in the playoffs multiple times seven threes made 29 free throws 17 rebounds 20 assists six blocks eight steals and once again hall of fame obviously and his number 12 is retired with the houston rockets uh i'm pretty sure i just saw him wearing number seven about three and a half seconds ago it literally says number seven right there there, but yeah screw it works for me i like how the jersey retirements thing just shows scotty pippen's number and not jordan's and you can literally see jordan right there on the left like it says a n and uh, if you want to see akeem's game highs and stuff uh here the hell you go 26 rebounds he dropped 10 assists once and 10 blocks and that's it this is a beautiful simulation watching jordan akeem sean kemp and clyde drexler for a little while dominate the entire league continually tie bill russell's record in uh what's it called in rings 
This is definitely a much easier era to win in than the, the normal simulations I do in the modern day when we load in our own draft classes and everybody's insanely good. But it's really fun to watch. I'll be honest with you watching Jordan. I, I, would, I wonder what other duos could be that good, if any. And that's it. Oh, yeah. I have one other thing to say while, while, while this video is ending. Sad news. Some kid was a, or just, you know, somebody was DMing me on Instagram like day one, day two, day three, day four of asking for Jaleel Okafor's career simulation in the 80s slash 90s or anything of that nature. And people have been asking for that for years, but obviously this is the perfect time to do it. You know, I've, I've mentioned Jaleel Okafor would be a star in the 90s and all that, that, that stuff multiple times. I know this is a crazy way to end off this video, but uh, Jaleel Okafor is not in the game. They took him out. I guess he's been out of the league for like too long, like over a year. I, they, he's just not in the game. I don't think he's in the league anymore. Like he's been out for like one year. So yeah, I genuinely can't do that. It, uh, just to debunk one theory. Also, uh, screw it while we're here. Uh, I can't do Jacob Underwood simulations because you can't do that on, on next gen. I've said it a million times, but I always get I always get requested that. To be, I actually haven't even bought 2K on the PC yet this year because of this feature. Oh yeah, next gen 2K still isn't on PC. You guys know that by now. Yeah, this video is already long enough. I thought I'd answer a couple questions here. All right, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you care about the channel at all. Let me know what the hell you want to see next. Uh, maybe I'll still do a Jaleel Okafor sim with a fake created Jaleel Okafor, but I probably won't. And I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Cut.